Hello YouTube, we've got a little bit of a change of pace here for you. We've got a ranked 3v3 team game here with the teams being uh, Darius Vi, Jax versus Rumble Malphite Kha'Zix. So just keep in mind, I don't 3v3 very often, so I might not know all the strategy of it, but I, I have done it enough to know that like 80 bruisers, people that can tank, take and deal considerable amounts of damage and they have CC are fairly good so um keep that in mind i do know the champions fairly well and i have played it before so i understand basic strategy but we're gonna give this a go so um it looks like we've got flash ignite on darius exhaust smite on vi flash ignite on Jax, flash ignite on rumble f uh, exhaust ignite on malphite and exhaust smite on Kha'Zix. So I'm not quite sure what exactly the normals are. It looks like um, the normal setup for summoner spells are here, but it looks like both teams usually have a smite just so that they can contest um, the... Uh, oh, what is that? That giant spider called? I forget what he is. He spawns right here. That, that That's essentially the equivalent of Baron. So uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with 3v3s on a regular basis, uh, essentially when they redid the map, there are two shrines in the middle. E you don't have any benefits while the shrines are not controlled, but when you control one shrine, you get bonus gold per, uh, per kill, CS, whatnot, and you also get... Um, I think it's just bonus gold for the first one, I forget. I'll have to check on that. And then when you get both, you get addition... I think it's like a 10% increase of a AD and AP... You can correct me if that's wrong, and I'll check it out once we're halfway through the match, because I'm sure at some point one of the teams will um, control both shrines. Uh, also, there is the center shrine, which is a speed shrine, and the most thing to note, the, the the most common things to note here is the position of a lot of these bushes. So, I'm assuming the majority of the people who watch this don't do 3v3s very often, which is very similar both to me, but I have played them, so I do understand uh, the premise as it goes. So I believe the shrines open up, I think it's at like 2.30. But uh, the minions spawn all at roughly the same times. So I believe uh, you have minions spawn from the Nexus right now. And I think it's not until like 1.30 or 1.40 that uh, the, the various camps spawn. And I don't think this guy spawns until like 10 minutes, might be 15, I forget when exactly spawns. But 3v3s are traditionally shorter, so it looks like we're going to see Darius in the top lane with Malphite in, uh, against Malphite. We're going to see Vi in the jungle, I assume we both have, we have both the smiters in the jungle. So it looks like those do spawn all at 140. And then we're going to have Jackson Rumble ju duking it out in the bottom lane. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Darius, I assume, loses to Malphite, but he does have very steady damage and mixed damage through his passive with the magic damage. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and it looks like uh, at bottom lane, I'm not sure who wins that. Rumble's got very consistent damage, but Jax has very bursty and sustained damage once she starts doing damage. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to see a little bit of damage here in the middle being exchanged here between Vi. They are aware of one another being here. And uh, looks like Vi just wins the poking match just a little bit there, forcing him back. And it looks like here, they all come down on this rumble, going to force him back. I don't think he's going to require. So it looks like at three minutes is when the uh, shrines here are become vulnerable. So sorry, not aware of all the timings of everything in here. But uh, the more you know. Bo, 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 bo. Okay, anyway. Back to the game at hand. Looks like Vi is playing a little bit aggressive here, trying to steal a little bit of the purple side jungle here. And as far as farm goes, Jax is a little bit ahead of Rumble, and Darius is a little bit ahead of Malphite. So there's a slight 100 gold advantage in favor of blue team, but we haven't seen any real exchange of gold yet. So we'll see if uh, this stays pretty steady. Kha'Zix did go back there, and he did buy... I forget what he started with, but it looks like he bought... Um, nothing? Because don't you start with like 900 gold? So it looks like Jax, uh, Jax and Vi managed to get the purple side shrine here. So let me just double check. We should be able to see this buff. Bonus 3 per kill, three per kill and additional mana regen. That was the statistic I was missing. So Kha'Zix is trying to poke here. Darius is camping that lane pretty hard. And Vi is going to take this second shrine. So they are going to get a significant advantage here. The most significant thing about that is denying the purple team their shrine is um, the lack of gold. Like, that is going to be pretty huge later on. So it seems like blue team has done this quite a few times. Maybe purple team is new to 3v3s. So we'll see how this goes. As far as team fights go, I think um, 
Darius is really good, and Jax is also really good, because Jax, he's one of those that, once he starts rolling, dealing the damage, uh, you really need to burst him down. He's kind of like Trindamir, where you got to burst him down, force an alt, CC him, and then take him out before he starts getting too crazy, because he has this tendency to, like, completely be out of control. And here comes probably the first blood here on the Rumble with the Ignite, and it's going to be close. Whoo! That was very close. There was a beautiful shield there by Rumble managing to save him the damage of the Ignite and the uh, Darius passive. Darius is also going back there, took quite a bit of damage there from the turrets and the minions, so going to be forced back. And it look this gives a chance for Malphite to make a little bit of a comeback and maybe even push on this top turret a little bit. So getting the Grez's Spectral Lantern, for those of you who aren't aware of 3v3s, there are different items. Mo most like Some of the highlights are the Grez's Spectral Lantern, the, um, uh, what is it, Woglet's, Woglet's Deathcap, which is like the old Zonia's... Uh, not Hourglass, uh, Zonia's Ring, I, th I, f I think it was called. That was like three years ago. So Purple Team managed to get their Shrine back here again. So now they're finally getting that increased gold generation. And so they should start to even out here a little bit as far as that gold disadvantage. It's only f 300 gold right now, so nothing too significant. And we still haven't seen First Blood been given up yet. So we'll see how this goes. Um... Blue team is fairly AD heavy, so Malphite was a fairly good choice because, like, they're crazy AD heavy. And with Rumble, they're actually um, relatively balanced in their damage because I think Kha'Zix, he's mostly physical damage. I'm pretty sure he is. I think only his passive does magic damage. So, uh, Malphite getting a little bit caught out of position. We'll see if he goes down, and I think he's going to give up the first blood to the Vi, and down goes Rumble as well. So, we're going to see... Let's see if Kha'Zix can do anything here... Nope, almost gets the almost gets the jacks, but blue team does get an ace there and only gives up one kill for it. So that is a plus, huge plus. Uh, one point, almost one and a half k gold advantage here this early in the match is pretty huge. Um, so let's see what everybody's building. It looks like Darius is building that quick hex drinker, and uh, Jax he's got those merc treads for the CC from um, both Kazix and the. Uh, they all have slows and whatnot, plus the knockup from uh, Malphite. So, nice big wave here for Jack, so he should be able to clear all that, get a little bit of a gold uh, advantage over here this Rumble. Even though the... Because the Jacks did get one kill. Wow, he's probably got a huge gold advantage. Yeah, 500 gold already. Darius is pushing out a little bit. Let's see if he gets a little bit uh, caught, but no, it looks like he's deciding to back. Let's see how much gold he has. 1,000. Not sure what he's buying. Maybe Tier 2 boots. Maybe Merc Treads. And uh, one of the other things that is to note is you can't buy wards on uh, this map. So uh, champions like Teemo are actually kind of huge. Uh, that provide those vision. Like Shaco also has some benefits. But the problem that they have is they're really squishy. And really squishy champs don't do particularly crazy well on this match. On this map. And it looks like here comes the Kha'Zix. Vi ganking a little bit here on the Rumble. Kha'Zix coming into support, and it looks like Jax is already 6. This is another thing that's super relevant on these 3v3s, is who gets level 6 first. Like, it's also significant on 5s, but it's more significant on 3v3s since you can have team fights, and we might even see a Vi ult here. Nope, she just decides to let the Kha'Zix go. Blue team manages to get that second shrine again, and their gold advantage is almost 2k now. There is the Vi ult on the Rumble, going to take him down most likely... Unless they don't have Ignite. No Ignite up. She manages to get it with a, a collateral damage there, look like. Excessive force, I mean. Sorry, collateral damages are all... What? I could have sworn. Anyway. Kha'Zix did manage to get away there with his leap, and Malphite's still just farming like crazy here. But that gold advantage is a little over 2.5k in a blue team's favor, just because the this shrine control is relatively huge now. And they managed to get that turret, which brings their gold advantage to 3k solid. And let's see if Malphite does anything crazy here. If he can get, like, I won't, I wouldn't call purple team call count purple team out of the match yet, just because uh, they do have quite a bit of CC. And if Kha'Zix can catch somebody alone, he does do a formidable amount of damage solo. Like, if Darius overstays his welcome here and Kha'Zix manages to get up there, like right now, they might be able to pick him up. Like Malphite could theoretically ult and absolutely destroy this Darius. So we'll see what happens here. Kha'Zix going for the gig, burning that ult. But doesn't manage to get anything there. Darius still kind of duking it out with this Malphite. And as far as farm goes, Jax's blue team is, in general, farming better than purple team. 
Oh, so low on the Malphite. Sorry we missed that. I was staring at the bottom of the screen uh, trying to figure out what the farming is. But Malphite is out farming the... Uh, Oh, the blue team fairly well, but he doesn't have that gold advantage, so he doesn't have a crazy advantage right now. Jax is doing a good job of farming. That's why he is like a solid 800 gold over everybody else. Purple team manages to get their shrine back, so that increased gold generation is no longer a factor. Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. They do get... Purple team has that increased gold generation. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, they also... Blue team loses that bonus AD. Let's see what everybody's building. Looks like uh, Jax is going to be building the Gunblade. Unless he's building the um, Blade of the Rune King. Uh, Vi did get that uh, Locket of Iron Solari. Kha'Zix got... Looks like he's just going for a quick Black Cleaver. He doesn't even have Tier 2 boots yet. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Kha'Zix really likes the movement so he can keep up and keep queuing people. What has he evolved so far? Just his W, it looks like. So, um... It looks like blue team's going to do a gank here at the bottom lane, dunking the uh, rumble there, and rumble is going to go down once again. Rumble is feeding right now. It's pretty bad. And it looks like blue team's going to do a combined push here on this bottom turret. Let's see if Malphite comes down. Kha'Zix gets forced back. And it looks like blue team is going to force push this... Uh, this bottom turret, that's really bad. Cracking the base this early, if they get an inhib down and super minion spawning already, that's really bad. Here comes the Malphite. I don't think he's ulted yet. Oh god, he's out of position. But he does have that armor now. And all three of purple team is here, so we'll see if they can swing this in their favor. There's the Malphite all doing a lot of damage. Darius manages to dunk, uh, try and dunk somebody, but doesn't quite get it off. And there's the Rumble all doing a formidable amount of damage. Right now, there's only one down for each team. Kha'Zix and Jax are both down. And let's see if Rumble can take out Darius. Darius' ult is still up. I thought he dunked somebody, but maybe they died before it. Hmm, interesting. And it looks like Malphite's going to get Vi here. Well, of course he's going to get Vi. Vi is... <laughs> there's no way. So, um... Blue team... Uh, purple team managed to pick up two kills there for one on purple... Purple only getting the one kill. Sorry, reverse that. Purple team managed to get two kills. Blue team managed to only get one there. And it looks like that... Um, Dreadmaw? Is that his name? Shoot, I forget. That spider is spawned now, so we might start seeing some uh, contestings going on there. I don't think it's really a factor until level 10, but it looks like Jax is starting it. Wow, he does quite a bit of damage. But I know, like, he does shred the... Um, the effects, but it looks like Jax can solo this. Does he? He doesn't have smite. Oh, it's because he's got Blade of the Rune King. That's why he's doing so much damage. And he gets the uh, Vile Mob. That's the name. Oh, so they do have that Vile Mob buff, which is pretty formidable on here. Increased health and mana regen, and along with increased attack speed and CDR. So, um, it's pretty potent, especially for people that like to spam, like Vi. Vi absolutely loves that buff. Um, Rumble... Increased cooldown is nice on him, but he has his tendency to overheat very quickly. Kha'Zix also loves that buff quite a bit, because cooldown reduction is his best friend. So as far as item goes, uh, looks like Vi is now building that Black Cleaver. It looks like Darius is building, I would guess, either a... Not Warmogs, uh, what is it? That shield item. I forget what it's called, but the shield, where every time they get a kill or assist, they gain like 200 health. So it looks like he's going to be building that, but he could also be building, um, Frozen Mallet? Hmm, I don't know, but it looks like we're going to see a little fight here on the purple t side shrine here. Darius flashes and pulls in the rumble, tries to dunk him, doesn't quite get him, but, um, the fight will continue. Blue team manages to pick up the Kha'Zix as well. Rumble overstays his welcome, gets picked up by the Vi, and there's going to be another ace. And down, this inhib inhibitor is going to go down, and let's see if they take out this turret as well. They do only have about 15 seconds until the other team is up, so they can't do too much, and Vi is incredibly low. But hopefully they can pick up this inhibitor before uh, Rumble and Kha'Zix can come, because Kha'Zix can jump over this wall, but... Looks like they're going to get the inhib, and then they're going to run, 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 run. Let's see if Vi can get away. There's the slow... Manages to land the stun... Oh god, it's close. And looks like she's gonna get away just fine. 
just fine. Darius pushing on this top turret. Now the gold advantage is a solid 7k. No, I guess it's only 6k in a blue team's favor. So that's pretty huge. Pretty huge indeed. Purple team manages to pick back up their altar. And as far as all that gold, it's it's basically 6k versus 4k. I guess it's almost 5 for some of them. So pretty huge there. So yeah, Overlord's Blood Mail. That's the item I was talking about. It's essentially the equivalent of Warmogs, but Warmogs is an OP, very, very strong item on this map because you, do, you just don't have the, the damage to burst people down that have Warmogs. If everybody built Warmogs, it would just be brutal. So getting that Overlord's Blood Mail allows him to have quite a bit of sustain. And it looks like now he is building Aegis? Yeah, I would guess it's an Aegis he's building. Rumble did get that Bloodfire Torch. That is the equivalent of Leandries on this map. Uh, it, it, it existed before Leandries. The only difference between it is it provides... Um, um, I think it's CDR versus... Uh, uh, it, it's just a better item in general, but it works kind of like uh, Static Shiv. So we see a small engage here, and the Malphite gets dunked. Three, uh, three versus one, uh, bad news bears before the Malphite. But, uh, yeah, it's essentially like Leandries with an effect like Static Shiv, because it can only have, like, 18 charges. There is a Vi ult dunking the Rumble, and Rumble trying to escape here. It looks like he's going to get away just fine. And under that turret, they still managed to pick up the Kha'Zix, but Vi did go down as well. But they are going to get this turret, and maybe even the Inhib. Even though Malphite is almost up, I don't think his ult is. He, his ult is up. So we might be able to see Blue Team pick up... Uh, purple team pick up two kills here. Trying to dunk that rumble again when he's at half health. Overestimating your damage. You have virtually no damage built right now here, Darius. But man, he, he was close to getting that rumble. But it is a solid 6k gold advantage. But uh, both both inhibitors are exposed now. And this one is down. It's probably not respawning for another minute or so. Maybe two. So blue team decided to head back, and I think Vile Mob will be respawning here very shortly. I, I forget exactly when that went down. 12.03. It should be respawning here very shortly. I think it's only every six minutes. could be every five. So we'll see if it's 17.03, then it respawns. Anyway, so now it looks like Jax is going to be building. He got that hex tricker, and now he's got a chain vest. A lot of variety of what he can build that into. Vi did get that Black Cleaver down, and it looks like Darius is building that Aegis now. As far as Purple Team goes, Black Cleaver, armor, lots of armor for everybody, because they are armor heavy. Um, and yeah, now I see a lot of health being built. So Rumble's probably building that into... Um, uh, what is that? The Slowing Scepter. I keep thinking Randuins, but I forget what it's called. Blah, blah, blah. Rylai's Crystal Scepter is the item I'm looking for. And, um... But he could be building that into a Sunfire, because he wants the increased armor. And Malphite's just going armor and health. Maybe he's getting a Randuins now. Not quite sure, but Blue Team... They just gotta push on this hit Inhib, and if they get this Inhib down... It's gonna be pretty much GG, because it's so hard to keep the push, because... File Ma is back up. And, uh, Jax could maybe solo that again. Uh... They're both just poking, both teams are just poking at each other. There's a small engage. There's the Malphite ult doing considerable amounts of damage. And uh, this is where we might see that huge armor working against the blue team. Uh, Rumble manages to pick up the uh, the Vi there. And Darius dunks the Kha'Zix and forces purple team back into their well. And it looks like they are going to be able to get this in hand. It looks like they're going to actually go for this, this Nexus turret. Because if they take that down, then they can backdoor the turret. Darius is going to go down, but he is also going to get that turret, and we'll see if Jax can escape. Looks like he's just going to start pounding away at this this Nexus. Doesn't quite manage to take it down, but they did also manage to get this in uh, this inhibitor just because it was so pushed. So a delayed ace there from blue team uh, for purple team, but uh, this is going to be really rough because I don't think purple team can get the Vilma because they're just so pushed right now. This This inhibitor is spawning. I'm not sure... It is? Okay, so I get, apparently when you do have both inhibitors down, you do start spawning double super minions per wave. So Kha'Zix could do considerable damage to that uh, the Vile Ma because he is solo. Purple team is probably going to be able to get this shrine back. So they are going to... Um, blue team is going to lose that, um, that bonus they have of the AD that they, they have. 
right now. So it looks like uh, Rumble is building that Rhylize Crystal Scepter, and it looks like um, Malphite is building that uh, Randuin's. Just going huge AD heavy, and it looks like Blue Team is going to be able to get this uh, Vileema uncontested. And that's that's really bad for Purple Team, because right now I think they're out-leveled, out-farmed, out-everything right now. They did manage to cut back on that, that gold disadvantage. It's on, now only about 4k. So that's a plus. And it looks like they want to go for... Are they just going to push for the Nexus? That's what I would do. Because I'm not sure if they have the burst. Vi is just pounding away at that Nexus. Here comes the Kha'Zix trying to do a little bit of damage here. Do, um... Vi dunking the Kha'Zix, doing a little bit of damage. There's the Malphite ult, and Kha'Zix is going to go down here. But down goes Vi as well. Rumble gets forced back to the well, but it looks like he's going to get go down instead. And I think this is going to be a game. I don't think Malphite can take down both these people. He has a very low... No, he has virtually no damage right now. And I think Jackson Darius can take this out. Not to mention the minions. And it looks like Malphite's actually going to go down here. And that's game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you let, want me to start viewing, uh, doing uh, 3v3 matches. Well, I kind of enjoyed it. Nice little change in pace. I felt like <laughs> I should probably learn some of the uh, the comps a little bit more. But let me know what you thought. Nice little change of pace. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, please uh, comment, um, like, favorite, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. And we'll see you on the next video.